Look at look at you and the kettlebell. Ah, welcome to Talking Trash. Where where <laughs> fuck. Um, this week I'm here in Melbourne with the Capstone Boys, Sam Carter, Justin Killick. Justin Killick. <laughs> Justin Murray. <laughs> and uh, other Sam. What's your last name, Sam? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Sam Mahoney. Oh, yeah. Sam Mahoney. <laughs> um, but yeah, they uh, I was here for Melbourne Fashion Week, which was random as shit. Um, MJ Bale flew me out to do like their runway performance for their runway show for that, which was pretty cool. Good fun. Uh, and then these guys are like, if we extend your flights, do you want to shoot some video content for Capstone? And I was like, fuck yeah. So we've been just doing that in between the last bit of rain that's been happening the last few days. So is it but- raining down in Melbourne as well? Not really badly, but yeah, it's just drizzling and shit. Not the same. Yeah. Not the same. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like Sydney. Yeah, I lucked right out now. pretty hard with that one. Um, yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did completely. No, nah, uh, my lord. Uh, yeah, did... they're flooding torrentially, which so. Uh, I... Shit is flooding all over the joint. It's pretty nuts. Um, mm. How long have you been down in Melbourne now for? But five days. Five days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. Yeah, five days. Damn, that's a pretty good holiday. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. That was just, oh, yeah, five days. Yeah. yeah. Did a lot of stuff. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, the reason we got these guys here is because we can then ask them in person, what is Capstone? Mm-hmm. What, what, like, you know, people online have probably seen the tag, which is at Caps, C A P S 1. S-T-1. Caps, one. Caps one, capstone. If you write it, you know, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Word play Caps that. one. Um, so yeah, what is um yeah, it's the brand, parkour brand, the launching. Oh, do we have technical Oh no, no, he's bringing it up. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. well, that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, there's some designs and stuff that we've is that live for everyone that watches? Yes, oh, yep. cool. cool. Um, yeah, so they're like some early designs for like the clothing that we're doing which you can see on the back of this exclusive tank top yeah yeah yeah, don't yeah by the way that's a really sick design the one on the tank top yeah cheers i'm a big fan of that one see the the black and white uh still there with the Thanks. more complex pattern yeah that one's really cool the, the snake there's something for you yeah, um yeah it looks like a snaky coat of arms it's very nice that's, mm. that's pretty, yeah. pretty accurate to what it is. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Blah. Um, but yeah, Sam stressed to me the uh, importance, <laughs> like, with uh, it's not a, it's not a team, it's not a parkour team. It's a track and field make... supplies store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that about? Uh, you know, it's oh, like yeah. it's like renegade track and field, right? Yeah, fair. Kind of yeah. just jumping over stuff. And we're supplying shit for that, so. <laughs> <laughs> Works. I'm guessing it's one of the sub classifications that yeah yeah that I know it's have. a work in progress we'll get there we'll, we'll get, get there, there. <laughs> it'll say parkour thing. store once mm. in you know 10 years yeah maybe maybe so, um yeah yeah um but yeah Sam stressed the importance of that they're it's like a collective that they're trying to support the top athletes or who they believe to be the top athletes out there and just offer opportunity to make like quality content and go on trips and do like that parkour lifestyle that uh that we all love to do mm. and so yeah part of that you know extending my trip here is offering that i get to then do a parkour trip in melbourne specifically just to like go out and hit six jumps and mm. make cool content and that's been like a super joyful super good experience okay. yeah, like i actually think i probably hit the gnarliest shit here than i have probably all year yeah yeah i guess that's like kind of the goal is to capture and like push the upper echelon of what is happening and like the potential of like what athletes can do not just like uh, um, the capstone is like the the final the topping or like the defining piece of the structure mm. not to be confused with the keystone which 
is the central stone on an arch. Did you guys just like not stop talking? Yeah, I don't know what happened with uh, the connection or whatever, Jack. I've been watching YouTube for the last minute. It's still. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It, um, one thing. Well, there's nothing. One thing it is telling me is lots of editing is going to happen. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Huh? What? That's on. Yeah, there you go. Hey, look, you actually went in focus as well. Fucking amazing. But you're muted. Yeah, I'm not on the Yeah, I think the share screen. I I don't know why that would make my internet conk out, but it does. Or maybe not. No, it's just the bad connection. It's bloody Melbourne, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're just gonna have to look at. Sense. It may no just be idea. a case of lots of Are you of getting energy. anything you're in, Darren? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ending. Ending. Right, probably have you World flag, yes, flag. Or this is just not. I'm sorry, work. people who are listening, if they ask. No one is listening. <laughs> All right, we're going to try a different. You're oh, muted. Okay. I connected to the NBN. We'll try that. All right. You're on. I'm not muted now. Can Bang. You, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. So this is going to take a lot of editing. <laughs> You're welcome, Dad. Yeah, this is just going to be like the most edited podcast ever. <laughs> It's all right. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. So, did you get the part about the capstone being, you know, the top stone and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Cherry on top. The cherry on top. It kind of, oh. it kind of weaves mm -hmm. into where you guys fuzzed out. So, so that's good. But um, that's not. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, is, it kind of represents the brand, the idea of, um, the name and like capturing that, like, I don't know. Yeah, those people doing those cherry on top jumps to make us fucking love parkour, like, you know, I don't know, we, we, we really like to appreciate the, 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 like, the gnarliest level, but when it's, like, pushed with, like, grace and control, you know, yep. we want to capture that and, like, support the athletes bring that and, like, help cultivate the culture around that and the economy, like, in parkour to, like, sustain itself. Yeah, Instead so coming just, from within exactly, as opposed yeah. to like outside brands always being the one to exactly, bring it up. Yeah. yeah. So like we need internal brands, not well, not the other. I, 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 I think, I think that's we, we, think, we think we need brands instead of just like teams and stuff. So we can mm. help like but it's also mm -hmm. it means that you're gonna yeah. you're also gonna be more in touch with what the athletes then want, like from my experience. It's like I'm just getting to do what I love to do, which is go out and train with my friends and try challenges that we yeah. like. Yeah. The, 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 you know, mm. Like my body was super sore today, but just the excitement of what we're doing in the project made me yeah, want to hunt yeah. more and make sure that I do like, yeah. oh, I'm in here for a few days and get the most out of it. Mm. And I think that style of things is like really productive and it's really enjoyable for the athlete on the other side of it as well. So providing that opportunity um, is, is something that I think is really cool that you guys are doing. That's just to work out how to cater for all the different people, you know, because not everyone will have the same process as you. Yeah. yeah. Know? So. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, we've been friends for years. So, you yeah. know, like we've trained together fucking almost That's a decade. So, you know exactly like what, what's up with that sort of stuff. And, like, Maybe over a decade, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty Shit, wild. mate. Pretty buzzy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fucking 12 years. I've been jumping for 12 years and I probably met you on that first year, so yeah. Yeah, and how about you, Josie? I met you like four years ago, five years ago, maybe. Not even that. Not long ago, yeah. We well, almost fell here. Two yeah. years ago? Yeah, two years ago, I met you yeah. maybe once before that. Yeah, we'll probably. I think, yeah, just like in passing, I mean, yeah, never trained. Yeah. But yeah, there's been a big difference between it. Josie and Sam, I only trained with Josie like the last two or three times that I've met him as opposed to Sam, which has always been training unless one of us was injured. Mm. Mm. And slapping each other. Bit of it's, yeah, that's happened. <laughs> Bit of both those things have happened. Yes. So, what I first saw on you, Josie, was um, you went to the UK and you were just doing like horrendous shit. How long have you right. been training then when you were like doing that shit with I Phil? Say, 
good amount of time, maybe five years or so. Oh no, the first okay, the first time I had a Justin, someone was like, Yeah, there's this guy in Melbourne doing filthy eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. that's that's when I first heard it. Mm-hmm. Wasn't very much. And I was like, I was fucking doing eyebrows. It kind of works. Because because they see the style stuff. of like yeah. Yeah. So, so that was it worked out. Is that video on YouTube anyway? Um five parts in like, like the CP video. video. Sorry, the, is there any videos of Justin? What's, what's the one? Uh, with I'm not now. I think it's the one with you and Phil. Oh, yeah. What's your your video where you do the roll at the end? Oh, that's on the Owls Gang. It's called One. It's called One. Owls yeah, Gang One that, yeah. on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. And that's got the um, can't you me nothing track. That's correct. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the that's the video. Uh, Are we just going straight to the end here? Oh, no, 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 watch it all. Too yeah. long. But wow, one minute long one. Yeah, and it's just full of fucking gnarly shit. Yeah. This is when I was really like, okay, this guy's a serious weapon. Video two serious. probably coming never. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> never. <laughs> Imagine trying to get two minutes of content out of Justin. <laughs> oh. It'd still be a minute long, probably. Yeah, yeah. You back it down. Oh, I hope what? Lag, yes, bro. Yeah, he did IMAX, like, and that jump. See, like, well before, what's this, 2018? I think it's earlier. Well, he would have done it a bit earlier. 16, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did it in 2016. Like, that doesn't yeah. like shit, man. Well, that's why it's good to have you yeah, um, and him as a kind of team, because you'll capture what he does when he yeah, does it yeah. now, instead of just like, and actually yeah. post it on the internet. Especially now with Capstone, like, we bought a camera. She's just fucking just such trying to film hectic. series now. Hectic challenges. We're, we're saying so today. This is like the bad we did today. Yeah, very similar. But in saying that, Dom, fucking Sam is not that good. He's just like, oh no, I'll just keep this one for like a bit. No, we won't post it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, fucking, there's not many other people in the search on the lens. doing this. Just like, but, but it works because, like, if we had a just does release, it work, Sam? Give me out. 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 The most recent or the the video that we launched Capstone with, right? I'd done like. I've done a million different takes of that and there's other footage in that as well and just working on the side side project and people like Sam and Danny and stuff would be like just post it it's sick like and Justin and I were like nah, nah, nah. and eventually it like loses so much footage yes but it gets I don't know it turns into like the best product and that was that one minute and that's how we launched Capstone you know so like holding it for us for how like how long that's required and it wasn't even that long for that video mm-hmm. bird feed was way longer uh, yeah, yeah bird cool. feed bird feed went for 13 months and was just like Fuck we pulled me. the camera out occasionally and just filmed clips if it was worth it and just kind of ran in the background Changed yeah the songs it's a, a di- different times. rhythm man that's yeah, like yeah. you know like almost everything i do is just pull like pull out a camera at least just record document what's going on yeah yeah um now, yeah, all that, that for all that recording months. that like top that top, one top part, you know, capstone. Like, the capstone yeah. clip. But also we want to capture that personality as well. Like, Absolutely. Well, that's one yeah. thing that stands out. Like when I watch Bird Feet, there's like some nice long drawn out moments mm, where mm. you see the reaction or you see just you just being a cool kind of I, looking after your big drum. Love the drawn out moments. He's applied to the random Sam in the room. You know, Sam does lots of skating and I lived with him. So I watched way more skate videos and got way more into that stuff. And in skating, the filming is like, because there's so much more, there's like, a lot of different types of filming and everything and like some people are just so good at it and there's a lot of edits edit where if like William Strobeck is a big one you know just like spends time zooming in on people and just like I don't know getting personality but then capturing the actual shot and like you know, it's really shaped the way that we look at um making videos some people say like Owl's Gang or Capstone really looks scary it's kind of like that's what we're most influenced by, so it just kind of makes sense. Yeah, like even when I was um, here last night, we ended up just putting in a bunch of skate videos yeah, yeah. and like watching a bunch of different shit on that. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, one person I would say who does that sort of personality driven stuff, but in a way different style is Jason. Like yeah, right. when we're out doing the foreign shoots, he's off for another 20, 30 minutes just shooting the town, or like if we're right, doing right. action or training, he'll be shooting the people around us in a close up shot, especially in like the uh, America video. He was just like, all over the random shit mm, that was going mm. on nearby. Oh, man. So if you have like a massive zoom lens and stuff, that stuff helps. It's really, it's hard to get reactions on a GoPro from the distance. It's good mm. eye. Mm. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's a different way of shooting it though. It's more of like mm. a, like yours is more raw and like gritty in a way. I like very simple. 
things. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, you it's also really like black and from... white quite a lot, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, again, that, that, that William Stromberg guy, he shaped a part of my thinking because when he said um, that, like, he started filming in black and white or releasing in black and white because it, when you see the clip, you can't necessarily tell where it's from. You can't tell if it's Australia or if you can't tell if it's Europe. And for, like, Capstone, that makes sense because we're trying to, we don't want to be a team. We want to be this, like, universal kind of like brand it's like you know so now we can release projects in england and it looks the same as our projects from australia like i don't know for now it's a stick there's, right. a, we'll there's, a, unif <laughs> there's unification to yeah. the imagery of the brand yeah, like, yeah you know what i mean that instead but when of it works it works and other times it doesn't work you know and, yeah. or, or sometimes it's better like you know you see some pink outrageous jumper or something that'd be cool wouldn't it mm. Mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I'm really excited to um, share the video that we've been making, like Sam's been putting it together, and we're going to try and see if we can get some clips done tomorrow to add to it. But um, I'm really excited to show everyone. But to be noted, you got to release. We're dinner. saving more clips. Yes, yes. Yeah. We've also shot other clips. So that this we isn't gonna... this isn't even the upper echelon. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is what Dom's bashed out in his in his spare time that's it, that's in branding. Warm ups, warm ups. It's all warm ups right now. We're working on the project. And um, speaking of which, as well, I don't know um, how we're not like that solidified in plans, but our plans are to come to Adelaide, yeah. um, and do some more for shooting sure. for the brand. Uh, Early May. Um, Catch you next. I'm month. definitely going to be there, so we can actually come record in the studio. Oh, did you say early May or April. early April? Early April. Sorry, I said early May, but I meant early April. We are in March. Yes. We are in March. Um, yeah, so that'll be really exciting. You know, I think we can try to spend like a week to ten days there and do some gnarly shit. Adelaide's got lots to be done. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure you guys yes, can yes. open up the spots and. Go ham with the things. And I mean, then close them down. <laughs> that's it. Shut them off. Lock that's off. It. That's it. Go home. Go home. Dom just flipped off the clock. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> yeah. But I think um, that's how it's about, like, is when you go to new cities there's a different energy mm. like to to what you want to do and what you want to bring and that's what i'm really discovering again just like last i've taken like a few trips outside of sydney especially with this one mm. when it's like focused on parkour you're just in that mindset of uh one spontaneity but two like i've got i've got a limited time and yeah. so that point therefore you kind of push push yourself to do it in those moments more so than you would at home because you can't just come back to it I love, like, you know, there's a challenge today. It's like, oh, I'm not going to get another chance. And then it started to rain, so I really just had to do it. There wasn't another option. And you just, at home, you just tap out. Like, my, uh, Sam's saying, like, I've been oh, like oh, the rain, well, well, I guess I'll just come back another day. Like, yeah. it changes the mindset. And even I found with people, like, come to stay with me as well, that happens as well. Like, yeah, yeah. you just get this kind of, like, oh, well, we're doing shit today. Like, we're yeah. doing shit today. Yeah, even having you in town, like, you know, we've been going harder recently, but you know, you're in town for a few days and I like, ride the buzz while it's here, you know? Justin didn't sleep and fucking bounce out some <laughs> massive jumps yesterday. Yeah, Justin pooped yeah. yesterday and slept. And slept. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. We all string string together a sentence, but did string together a line. Yeah. Come on, Come on. <laughs> and also like, smashed out a massive game of stick as well. Like, mm. probably like a 20, 30 minute game of stick. We were just like, did we finish that one either? No. No, no, no wait, that's so good. We started two games of stick. We just yeah. played them until they've organically ended, or like yeah. somebody gets distracted, or I, I had something. I, I, I had or... food. That's what the break was in stick oh, there. Okay. But then I think by the time I got back, you were doing like, window jumps and yeah. stuff. So if you go to the Owls Gang um, Instagram page, then you can see the last. We'll pull up the last two little days of training that they put up. Have you got some stuff in today to put up? Yeah, not today. I got no. not to Justin. I think you should put the, right. put the yeah. fail up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That just was that. Like, yeah, Al oh, Gang. As opposed. As opposed to yeah. all, the, all the people like, who are wondering. Sure. Sure. Right. That's I was wondering. Was so... I was wondering. I know, right? I know, right? I was about to. I really ask. wanted to say that because no one's wondering. What? I said to all the people wondering, um, but no one's wondering. Um, <laughs> no, I am. But Al Gang will live on. Um, Owls Gang, you know, like we said, Capstone is a brand. Our team is Owls Gang. Um, 
we're gonna keep doing our shit, you know. We're gonna keep posting. We've not really tried to post much. Yeah, we we'll we'll just around a bit more. But, but yeah, we're, we're well. filming the few more things that we don't normally post, and we're putting them up. So but, but with gone. your team, I think it's never really been like. Hey, where the with Al's game? Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like with, you, with Al's game, you've never really been like, uh, oh, we're gonna have this consistent posting schedule. Yeah. You just like it's it's all more old school. It's like there's a group of guys, and then when we come together, we make videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like, yeah, it's like I don't I don't think the the shtick with you guys is like, oh, every fucking month we're gonna release it. It's like you wait for those hitters, and they're almost instant classics in a way genuinely for the last like four years probably we've been stoked that we've hit like a video a year yeah and i think but that's you I know think we did two last year which is pretty sick <laughs> that's double up oh yeah. shit but like the videos that you guys put out have like a distinct character and a distinct mm. feel and, and like that difference to just your run-of-the-mill vlog mm. or even just parkour videos coming out regularly where they're like oh you know we just shot action yeah yeah it's like you know even with the fraz and the editing and some of it was just like <laughs> yeah sick man so is, cool to like do stuff with fraz because yeah. he takes like the same vision but has his like crazy wizard fucking editing brain that you just can't comp no one else can comprehend but he yeah. can just put this shit together so it's so cool to like yeah i, I mean know, resonate with the same idea and create something cool together yeah yeah it creates an individual look um definitely and you also like uh i guess like compared to what I do which is documenting the parkour mm. you guys really shoot a video you know what I mean like, like the capture yeah like the way like you you're you're actively shooting a video mm. like mm. even you're saying like a lot of the time you just go out and like look like Justin's like I just want to fucking go jump but oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. jump yeah, like yeah. and then oh, you yeah. end up training but it's like it's like the um I've been even thinking that when we were younger we were doing hours gang stuff with like max and everything we we're trying to push hours gang for a little bit and I think there was some kind of like motive to like get your video out there so that people like get views and like everyone sees you and whatever. But like the way that Justin and I seem to kind of operate is like we're either maintaining and playing like games of sticks or stick or something because we've got something coming up, or we're going out and getting clips and we just want to get clips and that's just what we want to do. It's not mm -hmm. for like fucking anything, but that's the way we think about. Yeah, yeah. Like that's like. But we just want to push it and we want to do that. I feel like thing, you know? when we like, started yeah. like. Between <laughs> before 2010, that was that was the natural rhythm is you like you to train, 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 and then you get clips of like the gnarly shit that you do mm. and you just hold on to that and then eventually make a video. Like yeah, that's just yeah, like yeah. the kind of partnership that was always natural with parkour and then it's now been taken to this new level with content creation and like you yeah, know, yeah. posting every single day on Instagram. That's the next and the, like, yeah, again the skating that, the skating community that does they just hold their footage for like years, which isn't necessarily something that you know everyone should do or whatever but the fact that like each like there's the skate culture is so big i think that you can have people that are releasing footage quick and people that are releasing footage slow and there's always going to be constant footage and i believe that, that parkour is getting to more of that stage mm -hmm. like nowhere near the stage of skating but yeah, it's yeah. like it's now getting uh growing to a place where we can have play people like jimmy who's doing like pieces or like parkour documentary style journalism style pieces and then people who are doing say like long peak like long video uh sorry long projects uh video projects like that and then mm. you've got you know uh motors fat stora yeah keep myself all yeah, yeah. doing the, the regular content yeah. so you can tune yeah. in weekly for your update and that's yeah. it like the natural curve of parkour has gone like to that vlog style and to that um instagram style a lot so you know like that's not the way that we still think about it, so we'll just try and hold down what we're doing. Do, but I think it's better, <laughs> but it's better <laughs> to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, we haven't yeah. progressed from that. Like, <laughs> jumps have progressed, but as far as like that, no, no. We, yeah, well, I guess that's, that's, where, that's where culture grows and stems from, though, is that, you know, with surfing, for example, you've got you guys who are just old heads and just go mm. out and ride bubble boards on the waves and go competition surfers now who are like you know doing all of the yeah, yeah tricks yeah. and all that sort of stuff yeah. and it's for a different purpose and different vibe but without it all you don't have the whole yeah absolutely. sport absolutely I, and i think i guess with that analogy like it's sick those the new the new school people but i hope there's always people surfing those long boards you know like yeah <laughs> well yeah yeah and that's what's got to be someone holding it down you know like, it is a refreshing change of pace to like when i when you see the vlog in a month that comes out and it's you'll see it's like very chop changey because mm. 
it's not like a formalized training session. We're just like, oh yeah, I feel like we'll, we'll go somewhere with the intent of training, but it's not like do like practicing heaps of movement and doing the style that that I would normally. And um, yeah, it's a refreshing change of pace. It's re like it's cool to do. It's, <laughs> to be fair, this is kind of how Joe Scandrew and I train. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to a spot and just try and find now and shit. Find the things that excite you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just do that. And it's just it. fucking. With him and I, we just, we just kick back all day, just fucking go to the gym and yell at people or some shit. But <laughs> don't even do any more training. Fuck that. Um, do you know the guy Neil Holmes? Any chance? No. Old school head. Um. Anyway, not, um, not the one that you used to train with. No, that's Hudson. That yeah, and like, I used to get those names from. Yeah, I don't know anyway. Neil Holmes. Um, he was reading a book at some stage called I think The Talent Code, and he was referencing that um elite musicians. Or like it's a, it's basically a study on like the people who are the best at what they do and like how they train or how they like you know do their practice whatever um and i think for a lot of elite musicians it was like when they started they had to do all of their um all their basics like as a ritual regularly for long hours every single day um and as they progressed it got to a point where the most effective way to um to get better at what they were doing um was to do the stuff that challenges them most for shorter periods during the day so you like do it occasionally or like more almost more sporadically for shorter sessions but it's stuff that really challenges your physical and your mental harder and that's you know yeah Ooh, i guess that's kind of how we train a bit more jaren as a musician you see parallels in that well actually i saw parallels in that through um pavel tatsulian like with kettlebells so he has something called greasing the groove and basically that's like do your hardest body weight exercise like something you can only do five reps of, but do it like lots of times throughout the day. So like, say you're working yeah. on um, a one, one arm push up. Maybe you can only do one, but you like get them up by doing like one, one every hour. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. what I saw the parallels in. Yeah, because yeah, for me, it was like I've adapted my training now. I'm usually doing like one session and then take like a two, three hour break, go eat some food, go home, watch some TV, whatever, like fully relax and stretch out and then go back to another like later evening session. And again, if I wanted to be both heavy hitting, then I have to take those breaks in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, but <laughs> just when you start talking about like the um, music stuff, I was thinking about how today we were talking about the different styles of like. Like my usual training regimen is go out and riff like jazz, you know mm. what I mean? Like bounce, I'll take my instruments and then bounce off the oh, other yeah, athletes yeah, and yeah. stuff like that there. Whereas when I'm training with these guys, it's like we go to a spot and we spend about 15, 20 minutes plugging in the mics, the amps, making sure everything's <laughs> on the little audio cues and then just Zeppelin solo. <laughs> just fucking rage, it, rage out for like two, three minutes and then boom, we're done. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Like a big long jam session as well, like just a little rock and roll solo. Bang. Yeah. Make sure everything's right and then bust out a sick solo. Man. Yeah, make sure it's all perfect, <laughs> man. <laughs> mm. Or like we'll a gong, it, yeah. like a gong, like a big fucking yeah. gong, just like for like 20 minutes just moving this gong into the right place. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> it goes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For all to bring in here. Yeah, so it's a different style, but it's good. Good. With skating, do you find there's different styles of like training like that? Do you find some people are out there for like fucking nine hours just like rolling along? Oh, dude, some people are so methodic in the way they skate. I can only skate fast. I don't understand any other pace. Like it just doesn't work <laughs> for me. Like if I'm not sprinting into what I'm doing, it doesn't go for me. But like, I, like I get so jealous of watching people and like I find it hard to session with those people because they are constantly doing shit. Um, but I don't street skate a lot, so it's different for me. So mainly yeah. bowls and mainly bowls and transitions. Which gives you yeah, which like gives I can create more momentum out of that, and it, the fear is taken away, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, for some <laughs> yeah, people, it I, makes a lot of sense. I personally, but then again, it. Dom doing front flips off shit doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> but you know, it also but doesn't I, make I sense. Get, I get the speed thing. Like for me, I've always preferred to do 
uh, running running stuff where I've got enough momentum to yeah, get yeah, there, and then yeah. I can like, and it's all happening so fast, I yeah. don't have to think about it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like when I show Justin, he can do everything standing because he's so explosive. And it just means that he can dial in the control a lot nicer as he's going into it or like, you know, do it more like with the process, I think, yeah. um, because he's doing it off power instead of like, even when we do running jumps, it's like he'll take less speed and use his power to get there. Mm. And that's kind of similar that's with like really pushing, you know, if you're pushing that's yourself. Nice. You're when when I'm switched yeah. off, I'm switched oh. off. As soon as my mind is switched off, it, it, you like that, that's when I'm on. It's a slow step. My, my mind is not impeding me anymore. Like, <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, I was just taking a picture of Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> he actually runs pretty quick in running. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but not, not as fast as say you or I have no, to. Go, I oh, you yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I quick work. We're, we're, we're different now. We're, we're different, different transfers on mm. running jumps. But like standing power and quiet power is just like immense. <laughs> so quick and like, ah, My ankles can't move really that fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's, there's yeah, we're doing this, uh, mm. like, he's a freak. Like, he's one of those, like, his, yeah, his yeah. fast switch muscles so fast that his jump is like freaky to watch. It's like, boom. Because Don like, said that again. I have quick ankles and I kind of like scoff because I've been like doing, <laughs> trying to do explosive calf raises with that kettlebell so that I can get quick ankles because I compare myself to this guy. It's like, ah, ah, you know, like, <laughs> all over the place like a cat. Like, yeah, I'm like, did you, did you ever do any sort of power training, like lifting or anything like that? Or was it just um, used to jump? So I thought, if I can figure this. Not until late in my training. So okay. I reckon I play, and I slow down a bit. I'm like, fuck, I want to get better still. So I did recently stuff to go away. Just move shit around a bit. And Tim, it's good. Tim fucking definitely did. Um, he was going all the time. Like, oh, I might pop in with you one day. Since yeah. then, I've been doing quite regularly. How many Fucking times did you get it? Tim's a beast, yeah. yeah. He definitely made us healthier as a collector. Yeah, he, he makes us healthier as a collector. That sounds so funny, isn't it? Yeah. Pop beer. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you, yeah. Tim? Yeah. He's drinking again. Well, that's that's right. Right. Ollie, when, when, again. When Ollie, oh, yeah. Bro, when Ollie was here, you were fucking on one. You were like raining like a hundred percent. Three times a week. Yeah, dude, because he'd get up at like 6 a.m. and go to the local climbing gym and like lift and have a session and then like... <laughs> he's an athlete. Yeah, yeah, he's he's wake a, up and go to the session. Not, no, no, no. He's a machine. But machine, he's right, a machine right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 step further. Sammy's like met a few of the sick legends because we used to live together. Um, so Ollie came and stayed with us for a few weeks. and Which was a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. pleasure. Ollie's lovely. Um, I should have him on here as well. But yeah, you know, yeah. you feel bad. He's when, got some shit to say. When you say mm -hmm. when you, when you're all I don't know destructive on your body and you've got like a Tim or a or an Ollie there or like we used to have Luke and Luke is like we met him we saw him recently actually um the Luke Smith friend doesn't know him is like the best but he's like very healthy gotta go, gotta watch you live yourself, in gotta watch yourself, you know really does doing well yeah. astute oh and Luke doesn't train but is currently trying to do the same precision that Justin's trying to do. So work that out. <laughs> Figure um, that out. <laughs> Both in their casual time passing through the city, bouncing off the same jump. <laughs> but Justin's probably like training three, four times a week more and oh, uh, like going to the gym. Probably less. <laughs> two days training, maybe two days gym. Okay, so four days, but that's what it's training. Totally, yeah, just yeah. doing doing the split. Mm. I mean, that's one thing I've definitely learned from talking to Ed and people like Tim is just like, mm. if you go to the gym and supplement your training with that stuff, you're still training, you're still yeah, progressing, because yeah, 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 yeah. you're getting stronger. Yeah. So then, when and you go out to do that shit, it just works better. Yeah, exactly. And someone like Tim or I don't know if Ed, because I never met him, but by his ethic, it seems the same. And Luke, they just they're training all the time, man. Like. All they think about it's all they want to get better at like the lifting process which isn't enjoyable becomes enjoyable to them because it's all a part of the process and the mm -hmm. games and the, the end product you know like yeah tim said that he enjoys lifting those lifting the weights and stuff yeah and i mean if you can lift more with your arms than i can with my legs then <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Right. That swinging jump yeah, here we go start now yeah, yeah. in his backyard <sighs> you are full oh, this isn't way too many for me but um, yeah, Sam was saying that, yeah, Tim can lift more arms or is lifting more uh, weight with his arms consistently than he can do with his legs. When so, we, something like that. Yeah, when we were, um, when we hung out the, the sets of, um, of deadlifts, 
that um, Ollie had like told me to do, because I was like trying to get into, you know, doing some lifting or whatever, mm -hmm. um, was lower than Tim could could bench press. Um, <laughs> and that wasn't my max weight, like that I could pick up. It was but, what like, you meant to be picking yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, meant to be meant doing, to yeah, exactly. And he's freaking benching. Oh my God, what a champion. <laughs> what a champion. <laughs> and that's um, why he can swing like he can, is because he's got legs for arms. Exactly. Yeah, so that control, he's got that strength. <laughs> But again, that's when you yeah. out the other day on Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. Go yeah. Tim's Instagram. Let's plug Tim more. Tim, yeah, Tim, like Tim, 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 Tim. I said that there's the video and like right at the end, I'm like, there's Tim Champion, best athlete in the world. And like Ashigari comments and you're like, yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Tim more or Tom more? Tim Champion. Tim Champion. Oh. Wait, why, did, why didn't you just say Tim Champion then? We did. But, uh, I think all of us cheering Tim and the clip oh. should have been like, Jay, I'm Jay, 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 Jay. Yeah, he's like, he's, the, he's from Jay. <laughs> uh, is it the yeah, most recent swing, right? Yeah, yeah it's horrendous. I think you want a little bit. This is, yeah, this is an old one, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Tim's a beast, man, so just capture what you can, you know? <laughs> um, oh, it's, but yeah, Tim's got uh, a setup in his backyard and like a little bar setup. I think recently he tried to like, Push the distance that he could. Oh, the Ricky, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, probably about six to eight post down. You know, going pretty hard. It's pretty scary for a setup that moves, man. But mm. Tim's an absolute legend, bro. He's a G, he's fucking strong, he's got that tech. Um, yeah, best, and just best. such a lovely person. Yeah, genuine, oh. genuine. <laughs> he's <dude>. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, Tim, you've got my heart, man crush. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I think that's as good a place to leave as ever. Everyone should check out Tim Champion. And also make sure you go and check out Caps One on Instagram. Caps One, the link will be in the description below. And uh, they're going to start a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to press my thumb yeah. on them to make them do it. We'll start, we'll start one. We'll release, we're going to release an Australia video soon. Um, original plan was to go to Europe because obviously one of the best athletes in the world are in Europe. Um, and we still plan to get there, but obviously- What are you saying, bro? The best athletes in the world struggle. are from America, dude. Um, oh my God, that's like- Also, Nate Weston, can't wait to see you. That'll be great. He is yeah. one of the best athletes in the world. Yeah, American definitely. too. Exactly. Mm. So, mm. what a legend. We're flying out here, Justin. Yeah. Well, long kisses, people. Long kisses. It's been, it's been real. XOXO, yeah. um, XO, XO, surf a dude emoji. Mm -hmm. Wave um, rider. Right surf a dude emoji. Karen, good luck chatting. Y'all.